Today we are here showing up as the Gold Coast family always does, ensuring that all of our neighbours in the Northern Rivers are getting fed and cleaned and sorted out after the flood disaster. It's pretty horrific what you're seeing down the, down the river. It is absolutely horrific. The stories coming back from the people who are driving down, boating down, jet skis, they're absolutely horrendous. People are still trapped, people still have no food, no water. The situation is really, really dire down south. So we're just doing our best to try and resupply them, keep them fed, keep them clean and get them dry. So many people banding together, the cars, the boats, the jet skis, and just the people, the mums, the dads, the kids rolling in all day saying, how can I help? It's been an incredible turnout, more than we ever have expected. It's kind of grown into this army of people just here to help. So it really started with all the boys getting on the jet skis and the boats, getting out there to rescue people. And then it evolved, you know, now that we knew those people were kind of safe, we needed to ensure that they were fed. And so, you know, after the, all the hubbies were out on the boat and out of the water, a few girls too, let me tell you, then it was, all right, how do we back them up with supplies? But it's pretty harrowing. Like today, you can see half of the girls are in tears because the husbands are calling back with stories and even fearing for their own safety. There's electricity in the water. There's boats and jet skis hitting debris. We can't get in contact half of the time because the phone service isn't there. So it's a really dynamic situation. It's constantly changing and everyone is trying to respond as best they can in the time we have. All right, Sam, what do you need? We need a lot of things, so water, pe non-perishable foods, um, batteries, torches, uh, long life milk. What we don't need is linen, pillows and old clothes. They are a no for right now. So our absolute priorities are water, food, hygiene and sanitary items, first aid. The essentials. The absolute essentials. And lots of them. And lots of them. And hands. If you're ready to help, come down. At the end of the day, if we have lots and lots and lots of product, what we really need is people to help sort that product and make sure it gets to the right places. Um, giving is actually quite complicated and you need to make sure you get it right, otherwise we're just dumping too much on these communities who are already under too much stress. So we've got to make sure that that chain works and that we're actually helping in the right way. Where should people come when they've got stuff? So at the moment we're taking collections at 56 to 60 Currumbin Creek Road. Uh, you can drop in there. Please be patient with the traffic. It is very difficult at the moment. We are doing our best to sort through that. Uh, if you have cars or boats and want to get involved, um, you can also come, park in the local area and walk in. We will register you and do what we can to get you out on the road as well. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you Sam. so much. We're getting there today. It's an incredible, incredible outpouring of human love for each other.